Hello, my name is Brian Staley, and I am here to announce the Outstanding English Language Learner Award and Scholarship. Each year, my colleague Lynn Lighthill and I work together to choose the graduating senior in the ESL program who has demonstrated excellence in their academics and their English development, who has displayed strong character and leadership skills, and who has shown both compassion and a willingness to help their peers in the ESL program. This year's recipient of the Outstanding English Language Learner Award and Scholarship goes to Gina Zuniga. To fully capture Gina's achievements at Great Valley, I'd like to recount my introduction to Gina when she came to Great Valley as a ninth grader. I'd just given a long speech to the class detailing that no one was go to the bathroom, the locker, or the cafeteria until they had finished their work. You know, the typical beginning of the year teacher speech. I sat down and a few minutes later, Gina confidently came up to my desk and asked to go to the cafeteria. Gina, I said, didn't you hear my rules? Are all, is all your work done? At almost five t feet, she stood very tall before me. Mr. Gina said, I always get my work done. And sure enough, Gina had gotten her work done. And throughout her high school career, Gina Zuniga always got her work done in every possible way. When she came from Ecuador, she enrolled in the middle school without knowing an, a word of English. Now she's a confident speaker of near perfect English. In fact, when I'm at a loss for English Spanish translation, I often turn to Gina. And when she hears me speaking to a parent on the phone, she'll wait for the call to end. Then she'll come up to my desk. Mr. She'll say, you're a nice guy in person, but you are really rude on the phone. She'll then coach me in English in this and, and Spanish and the subtleties of polite Spanish. For all of you learning Spanish out there, don't forget the usted. When it comes to learning English, Gina got her work done. As for academics, they weren't so easy for Gina at first. For many ELLs, it's easy to fall behind their peers when their their whole language removed from the sequential steps of geometry or the nuances of Shakespeare or abstract ideas of bonding or the intricate detail, details of the Constitution. But once Gina felt confident in her English, she excelled in school. And now as a senior, she's graduating with straight A's. When it comes to academics, Gina got her work done. And of course, school was hardly Gina's only job at her time at Great Valley. While she was learning English and getting... A is a great valley. She worked nights and weekends at a cleaning service so she could help her family both here and back in Ecuador. And as she literally worked night and day, she began to plan for her own career. She began to study cosmetology and has thrived in the program at TCHS. And as soon as I can get my hair cut, I'm going to find Gina and ask her to fix this. No offense to my wife, but my hairline's a mess. Um, but when it comes to supporting her family and planning for the future, Gina got her work done. And as serious and determined Gina can be, she always understood that her real job, her ultimate responsibility as a newcomer to the U.S., was to build connections from her family and her culture she loves so much to the new world here that she has so fully embraced. Recently, as we've be, we begun our new world of distance learning, because of the challenges of language and technology and, quite frankly, money, many ELLs have struggled with the transition. I knew Gina could help. I got her in touch with some elementary school teachers. Not only did Gina get her kindergarten brother online, she helped many neighboring families in the ESL community get their children online and in school. When it comes to helping those in need, Gina Zuniga got her work done. So I'd like to say congratulations to Gina. And in a moment where the distances between us, between teachers and students, between families and relatives, between countries new and old, when these distances have never seemed so great, I take comfort in the fact that there are students like Gina Zuniga Young people like Gina who are determined to speak and understand each other. Young people like Gina who study and learn new ways to confront challenges. Young people like Gina who gain essential skills and plan for the future. And above all, young people like Gina who do care deeply about helping others. Felicidades, Gina. Tu familia debe ser bien orgulloso de ti. Felicidades. Congrats, Gina.